بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم today we will continue our discussion about the shoulder joint last topic was and at the anatomy at the relation of the shoulder joint today we will start with spaces that are present near the shoulder joint. These spaces actually are two spaces and they are uh, actually uh, formed by muscles around the shoulder joints. The first space is called quadrangular space. Quadrangular means for bordered space. Quadrangular space is an important intermuscular space uh, it is located uh, immediately below the shoulder joint. Anatomically speaking, it is bounded above by subscapularis muscle, the end capsule of the shoulder joint, below by teres major muscle, medially by the long head of triceps muscle, and laterally by surgical neck of humerus. The importance of this muscular space is the structure that passes through this space which is the axillary nerve and the posterior circumflex humeral vessels as they passes backward through this space. This figure shows the shoulder joint at the quadrangular space and here you can see deep dissection for the space and the structure that passes through it that's the axillary nerve and the posterior circumflex humeral artery. Second important space is triangular space. It is three border the space, triangular in shape, formed by the lateral margin of the long head of the triceps muscle shaft of humerus and inferior margin of teres major muscle. Its importance is coming from the structure that passes, that's the radial nerve, as it passes out of the axilla, traveling through the interval to reach the posterior compartment of the arm. And this is the figure that laterally by the long head of triceps muscle. And below by the teres major muscle. Another important topic in the shoulder joint are the arterial anastomosis around the shoulder joint. Because of the extreme mobility of the shoulder joint, which may result in kinking of the axillary artery, which may lead to the occlusion, temporary occlusion of the lumen of the artery, and to compensate this, an important arterial anastomosis exists between the branches of the subclavian artery and the axillary artery. should know that the anastomoses are important uh, lateral network of arterial uh, blood vessels that are present near joints with extreme mobility to uh, bypass or to compensate for the occlusion that is occur during the mobility or the movement of the joints and it is well known at certain site one of these important sites is the shoulder joints each anastomosis should have uh, two important limbs one is called proximal limbs the other is called distal limbs function of the arterial anastomosis is to ensure adequate blood flow 
uh, to take place to the upper limb irrespective of the position of the arm. Each anastomosis should have two groups of arterial blood supply, proximal part and distal part. Here, the proximal part of the arterial anastomosis is coming from branches of subclavian artery. First one is called suprascapular artery, which is distributed to the supraspinal, uh, supraspinous and infraspinous fossae of the scapula. The second branch is superficial cervical artery, which is has a core as a branch that runs downwards on the medial border of the scapula. The second group of the artery of the arteries that form this anastomosis is the distal group, which are derived from branches of the axillary artery. And logically, it is from third part of the axillary artery, as with its circumflex scapular branch that supplies subscapular infraspinal fossae of the scapula. And the second branch from the third part of the axillary artery is the anterior circumflex humeral artery. The third one is the posterior circumflex humeral artery. Both these arteries forms the anastomosis that circling around the surgical neck of the humerus. Here, this figure, you can see this is the proximally the subclavian artery with two arteries, suprascapular artery and superficial cervical artery. They will form the anastomosis around the scapula and shoulder joint with the branches of the third part of the axillary artery. That's the uh, subscapular artery and the anterior circumflex humeral artery and the posterior circumflex humeral arteries.